Hey pals, my name is Liam Vu and that's Megan right over there. Welcome to Eat, Play, Stay in the beautiful province of British Columbia. Get ready for a cultural and culinary tour of your next vacation destination. British Columbia is a place that is beyond words. Located between the Pacific Ocean and the Rocky Mountains, it is home to over 5 million people with over 1,000 provincial parks, conservancies, and protected areas across 14 million hectares. The last few years have been a struggle for the entire world. We've grown physically distant, yet emotionally resilient, searching for happiness and purpose in ways we never thought. For me, that journey has taken me to this supernatural province. For people coming to British Columbia, we hope that they will immerse themselves in this place that's been shaped by nature and have a really transformative experience. That's what we like to call the BC Effect, and the BC Effect can be a very personal experience. My first stop was Granville Island, known for its remarkable transformation in the 1970s that turned it from an industrial wasteland to an internationally revered destination for food, shopping, and culture. Some of it's 100 years old, some of it's uh, even older. It was formed out of an old sandbar when Vancouver was industrializing in the early 1900s. Today, Granville Island is close to 40 acres of space. That includes a public market, seven performance spaces, 11 restaurants, a brew pub, and local artisans. All right, Tom, where are we? You are walking down Railsford Alley. You're actually on the original railway tracks from about 100 years ago when this was a spur of the railroad that went around the island. What's Dalbergia? This is handmade wooden products, mostly artistic, but a lot of it is functional as well from our good friend Federico. You can watch him work anytime you want and you can just get a sense of both the utility of what he's making and also this incredible craftsmanship behind it. I started getting a bit hungry, so before I left, I had to check out Seth Rogen's favorite spot. We've been here 42 years. We came in shortly after the opening of the market. We've been using the same recipe, same procedure, same everything ever since day one. I've seen kids come in with their parents, and those kids grow up to have their own kids and still do the same tradition. <laughs> oh, good. This is one of the most exciting places pre-COVID and we're starting to see it again. Today, that bustle is coming back, that energy, that excitement of being around other humans again. Before I wrapped up day one in BC, I took a stroll through Stanley Park. And that's where I met Candice Campo from Talese Tours. How long has Talese Tours been around? It's hard to imagine, but 20 years, two decades. <laughs> I imagine you get your steps in. Oh, we get our steps in, <laughs> yes. Talese Tours is an Indigenous company with cultural ambassadors from our local Indigenous communities, and we want to share culture, history with people, share nature, and we want to help people literally come to love the land. So Candace, what's the story behind these totem poles right here? The totem poles here in Stanley Park were originally brought here in 1920. And these poles that we are looking at are some of the northern poles from our friends and relatives who have rich cultures. We also have poles from our own local people. We have a memorial pole carved by Robert Yelton, our elder from the Squamish Musqueam people, and my most favorite artist, Susan Point of the Musqueam people, who carved the three gateways, people amongst the people, and it is a welcoming from our people to the visitors who come here to Stanley Park. And I couldn't help but stick around after Candace left, reflecting on the beauty and the indigenous history of this land. And I knew there was more to see and more to learn. 